before we kind of wrap up this this conversation, are there any other kind of uh, big points or or lessons you, you hope to share with people? Um, I feel like I had some, I should have wrote, written some down, but I was like, oh, I want to touch on that. I feel like we've touched on a lot of them, on a lot of uh, my ranting situations. Um, I don't know, just the being accountable thing, treating people the right way. Like to, like I literally, tryout season's been tough this year for a lot of girls and it just has really sparked all of these things. Um, but no, I would say no. I feel like I feel pretty good about what I've said and there's a home for everyone and you need to be honest, I think with kids and what where their level of play is going to end up. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of hard too. Is like, oh, if I get on this team, I'm going to be a division one softball player. No, that's yeah. not how that works. You know, like it's not, let me ruin every single relationship I have just to get to this one place of where you think the glory and the grass is greener. And that's just not always the case for everybody. Yeah. I think uh, many people in the softball community are kind of disillusioned by these um, luxury college brands, luxury club brands, which are just, you know, there are some really good clubs and organizations out there, but, um, back to your point, it's about the fit. Right. Like, yes, I want, uh, I don't know, just name an expensive, uh, clothes retail brand it's like i want that but i can't afford it and it doesn't even fit me and it doesn't even like <laughs> look good you know like <laughs> yeah, overall, versus like, like i you know target gives me what i need it's yeah. like within my budget it looks yeah. cute and you like it's you close to home right <laughs> Yeah, are you talking about college or target? I'm not sure. <laughs> exactly. But, but I'm drawing that comparison. Is yeah, that, absolutely. Uh, we need to check ourselves and not kind of view uh, whether it be colleges, Division One, as like these luxury brands uh, and like clubs, like the same way. They are. They need to be the right fit. They need to check the boxes. Like, is right. this within my budget? are these the people that I uh, want to be around and learn from? Am I being challenged? Um, like, am I getting, getting a fair here? shake? Yeah. Right. Um, do I see growth and progress? Um, am I having fun? Yeah. Am I having a good time? <laughs> do I look forward to practice or do I hate my life every day? Yeah. Like, it's really easy to turn and travel ball so many girls off to playing this sport and it happens all the time. And I just can't even imagine carrying that weight with me for the rest of my life because she stopped playing what she loved because I didn't make it fun anymore. Yeah. I mean, not the people who do that probably realize something like that, but it's like, you are so important and it's, it's such an important part of their life and it teaches them so much more for the next level mm -hmm. but i will say on the flip side of what we were just talking about is like at the end of the day if your goal is to be a division one softball player whatever the case is you have to play for or like you you have to play for organizations that are good yeah but if that's just not your fit and you're not going to play there it's okay if yeah. I just, in, growing up in Arizona, I didn't have a ton of experience with division two schools, division three schools, a lot of JUCOs, but I didn't really see the value in them because I wasn't surrounded by it. Yeah. Okay. GCU. Like I didn't have any division two private schools that are so much money that your education is just unbelievable from. Yeah. Any, 
myself while doing it like you just and i get to study abroad and uh, yeah like whatever whatever that is for you there's a travel ball team that fits that and there's a travel ball team that does have a great relationship with the best d2 schools d3 schools like there is that travel ball team out there for you too you don't have to be on the you know and it's but like my goal was to play division one softball at the highest level, but I worked like it. I worked yeah, like it. Same. I did. I worked like it. And so you were me- like top five, every tournament, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I did get cut. Don't forget that. So that's <laughs> anyway, but I just, there is something to be said for playing for big organizations. You, you can't play for a random local team and expect yourself to go across the country to, yeah. for us, say, Oregon, right? Or somewhere like that. Like, you got to... That's where the... Good fields and yeah. Play in national tournaments like you just do. Yeah. So. That's where we talk about fit. And if, right. if the um, talent is not challenging you, um, because that's just as important as the coach challenging you with play like you need players who are better than you in certain areas of the game because like that unknowingly makes you a lot better and that's the benefit of playing on on great teams 